Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. First and foremost, if you didn't turn into the live uh, last week, well, welcome to the new studio. Me and Hubbin have officially moved to Nashville, and with that, I am officially out of the attic. I have a whole new space, still very much decorating, but I'm having the time of my life. Everything you guys send me in my P.O. box, I'm currently just hanging up on the walls around and so I can't wait to show you more of the space as it gets done. And uh, thank you for being so understanding about how long it is taking me to get the Hello Beans winners ready because moving is hard. Also, if you haven't seen the title or read the thumbnail today, I am watching Coal Miner's Daughter. I don't know if it's starring Loretta Lynn or if it's just about her life. And you're probably thinking, Ashley, this is really random. Well. It would be random if you didn't have this context. First off, if you don't know, I'm a big fan of classic country. I mean, Reba McIntyre, Dolly Parton, Loretta Lynn, Patsy Cline, okay? In early October, Loretta Lynn passed away, passed on to the big Grand Ole Opry in the sky, I guess you could say. I 100% believe that it's my fault. I killed Loretta Lynn. I hope her family doesn't come for me. Here's the story in its entirety, okay? It was Loretta Lynn's 85th birthday. I was working in country radio, like morning country radio, and so of course, like every radio station everywhere does, you know, birthdays and celebrity birthdays. It was Loretta Lynn's 85th birthday that day. Blake is also a huge fan of Loretta Lynn. I told Blake, and he was like, oh my God, we need to see if she's putting on anything at her um, ranch. She has a ranch here in Tennessee, Hurricane Mills. And so we call and they're like, no, she's actually going to be at the original Ryman in Nashville. We lived about two hours away from Nashville. And so Blake was like, let's go. We'll have dinner at the aquarium and we'll see if we can get tickets. So we call the Ryman, sold out. We go to the aquarium, we're having dinner and we pull up a third party website. And we have never done that before. We thought we were gonna get scammed out of money. They were about the same price as the original, so, but they were still not exactly cheap. And so we're sitting there the whole dinner, like talking whether or not we wanna spend this money to go see Loretta Lynn at the Ryman on her 85th birthday. And I tell Blake, I'm like, you know what? Let's do it. It's her birthday at the original Ryman. Like she could die tomorrow. You're probably thinking, Ashley, she died in October of this year. You're talking about her 85th birthday. And you would be correct in that, okay? You're following along and you get me. We go, and the tickets work. We are six rows away from Loretta Lynn, okay? She shows up in one of her blue, actually like this color blue, sparkly, you know how old Southern singers, the women used to show up in the, in the gaudy dresses, oh, in all of her glory. She put on a great show, but the very next day, you guys, she had a stroke and never went on tour, never did another show. And then in early October, my, I do a live at the first of every month and I can't remember how we started talking about Loretta Lynn. I don't remember. I don't remember how we got there, but literally this was a Sunday night. I'm telling the same exact story about how she had a stroke and hasn't performed since. That Tuesday, Loretta Lynn dies. I feel safe telling you this story now because like she's dead. So what more could happen? You know what I mean? But it's like every time I talk about Loretta Lynn, it wasn't good. It wasn't good for her. She didn't have a good time. Whatever. I mean, RIP Loretta Lynn. So with that being said, she died in early October, but that's right smack dab at the beginning of Hello Beans. And usually when a celebrity or somebody of note dies, I like to go and watch maybe their biggest movie or so, you know. So with that being said, I did not put this up on a poll. I wanted to watch it for myself because of my love for Loretta Lynn. And uh, actually Blake loves Loretta Lynn. He's been wanting me to watch this movie with him for forever. And so I feel kind of bad that like, we're watching it here. He didn't want to join me today, which is a-okay. That's how we got here. That's how we're here. I don't know if it stars Loretta Lynn or if this is just about her life, but either way, big excited. So no more diddle dallying. Let's get right on into this Millennial Movie Monday, which is Coal Miner's Daughter. Oh, by the way, my shirt, Jazza Gals. It's from Shit's Creek. Look at that mule, doing great. Is that? I was gonna say, is that the girl who plays Carrie? I didn't realize she was gonna be in this movie. 
And I'm being real honest with you, I didn't know that she was in anything other than Carrie. Just a coal miner's daughter. Fire in the hole! Sometimes I forget that this job existed and I would suppose still does exist today. Just mine work in general. How scary, how terrifying based on the autobiography. Okay, okay, so it's about her life, not necessarily starring her in it. I wonder if she'll make an appearance though. Wear your knee pad, skin your back. If you don't wear them, you skin your knee. Oh, um, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Boys, there ain't no place this thing can't take you. Okay, this kid just in the wagon. Why aren't you walking? Oh, hell, buddy, I can climb that damn mess in the bag. Okay, prove it. Don't talk about it, be about it. Hell yes, buddy, I can ride up there at the top. Oh, I'm sorry, little girl, excuse me. <laughs> I was gonna say, he just told you to watch your mouth. Door, give the right, company the money back. back. <laughs> so that dad's been making dad jokes for some time, clearly. A Sears Roebuck order come in yet? Yeah, I'll get it. Sears and Roebuck. I forgot all about them being number one in existence. Number two together. Come on now. Come on now. You gonna lose your twenty five dollars? I mean, how many tries do you get though? Oh well, on that kind of Jeep, yeah, I guess that would be pretty easy because you ain't got no kind of top or nothing. Sissy has the most perfect nose. Just perfect. Oh the mercy. That son of a gun do little don't know what quit means, does he? Well, he just won the bet. <laughs> how many children? Okay, there's multiple families. I was gonna say, how many kids y'all caught? I know it used to be like that. Lord bless it. I don't know how. I don't know how y'all did it. Come on in here, dude. I just about to blast you one. Oh, we making some moonshine up here? Old boy down at the store said you won't see me. Yeah, we are. I've had real moonshine. I mean, you can go to any any liquor store in East Tennessee and buy like moonshine, but I've had. Real moonshine. How they feel, gang? Once. And I don't remember most of that night, and I only had like two sips. Oh my god, the grossest thing I've ever tasted. Never again. Ain't for me. Hey, how come she gets something extra? Mind your business. Getting to be a woman. Going on 14. <gasps> Women. Woman, she ain't nothing but a dad burn kid. <laughs> I agree with this kid. I'm selling no whiskey than I can make. But I heard you'd been stealing something from boys. You better watch your mouth. You know how to use a gun and you can use your job. This man just left the army and now you're offering him a job with you selling moonshine? Not just selling moonshine, but stealing it? Coal mine, moonshine, or move it on down the line. Coal mine, moonshine, moving on down the line. Hurry, get your feet off. Lord Loretta, calm down. What you saying them grounds, mommy? She a woman of crime. Her mama knows how to read tea leaves? Oh Lord, you getting fall. Oh, you about to get blown to bits for stealing their moonshine, my guy. Wow, we just, <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. Just carrying a dead body on the back of a horse in front of God and everybody. Red Dead Redemption much? Thing wasn't still working for him. Had been working for him, at least you'd have been a working somewhere. Okay, what a backhanded compliment, I guess. What a, ba I just, okay. Such simpler times, you know? Way harder though. <laughs> Okay, girl, why are you so intense on musical chairs, baby? It's just the game. These girls won't eat pies with a boy. They'll do it whether there's knocking or not. Did that mean what I, what I think it meant? Got six bits right there. Who's gonna bid a dollar? Oh, baby, that's not how you auction them. Close. Oh, so you buy a pie. Oh, you buy a pie from the girl that you want to go out with. Low red web. That's the only pie I know how to make from scratch is, is chocolate. Dollar twice. Hey, dollar down. Three dollars. Oh. Three seventy-five. Three seventy-seven. <laughs> it counts. It counts. Five dollars. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of money back then. Cutting it with a pocket knife. Love that for us. Oh, is it not good? My chocolate pie is good. Well, you must have got them mixed up already. <laughs> That's a big mistake. Come on now, get in this thing. <laughs> this is cute. I'm just smiling because it's cute. Oh, Lord, them pies ain't the only thing softy about you, are they? <laughs> okay, kind of cute that he went to walk with her, like he's really interested in her. 
show me I ain't about to spend my life buried in no coal mine, neither. Well, like your daddy said, you ain't got no job. You got any plans for the future? Not that I know of. You know, the usual for this time. Get married young, have 27 kids, die early. I'm gonna kiss you goodnight, and you ever been kissed before? She's 14! You at least gotta be, I don't know, you looking like 25. I can't do a girl once I set my mind to it. Well, right in with the piggies. Stranger coming! Stranger coming. That's, that's a very sophisticated little alarm system right there. She knows! I love their love story so far. Oh, your mama's gonna be pissed that you're shirking on shrink shirking? That you're not doing your responsibilities with your younger siblings. That's the whole reason why they had kids was to take care of the other ones. Lord, you know that Jeep ain't got no shocks on it. You know you felt every single bump in that mess. Well listen, you don't want her first car ride to be her last. I would slow down. <sighs> ain't nothing like a little adrenaline to be a good aphrodisiac, I reckon. I can't buy <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> It is? Yeah. Whoa! Second time hanging out. Get into it, girl. Get in it. Oh, the daddy's upset. The daddy is big upset. Loretta finna get her ass beat. Off didn't pass nobody or nothing. How are you ever supposed to grow up if that's how you get treated? You know what I mean? You bought her a dress because she's becoming a woman, but like her first little date moment, you beat her ass. I don't understand. I'll tell you what hurts worse than a switch, a belt. I'm not talking about it in a kinky way. What do you mean running off like that, that wild boy? I love you, mommy. God, y'all in the olden days be hanging out with somebody for 20 minutes saying I'm in love. Oh, you ain't got no business hanging around with it. You. You're just a little girl. You just said she's becoming a woman! And he's wanting me to marry you. Girl, it's been a week. Don't throw all them young years away. <laughs> tell me how you really feel. I just can't help it. The heart wants what the heart wants. See if we can't get a smile out of old sour puss here. <laughs> Maybe be nicer to her. Maybe that would help. Hey, hey. Get into it, girl. Hell yeah, look at that footwork. Now see, I could do that kind of dancing. This twerking mess can't do it. That, I could do that. Y'all don't see a do little in the house? Oh, now it does. <laughs> yeah, mama, you just showing your ankles and everything. You could cut the tension with a knife. You know what tomorrow is? It's our anniversary. How long? Figured that'd be a good day for you and me to get married. You gotta ask her dad. Go ask daddy. Told you. The way I'm being Loretta is fixing to get married. Well, that's not really asking, is it? Why is her dad sitting like that? Sorry. She said, oh, wasn't listening, wasn't watching. You don't know that. Hell, Ted said to ask Clary, and Clary said to ask Ted, and... <laughs> Get them together on the porch. Ask him at the same time. Well, they go to bed, and you can catch them together. <laughs> oh, he really did He really did catch them at bed. That is so funny. Don't you never hit her. And don't take her far from home. Well, she about to be an international country star, baby. I don't know how she gets there, but she gone. Okay, that's so cute. I love that for them. Now, hey, now, your parents can see you. Be careful. And forsaking all other, keep the own end to her. She looks so cute! And forsaking all other, keep the own end to him. Is that her dad? Is that her dad? Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? I do. Hmm. Okay, her dad cleans up nice. Girl, you were only 14. This is about to be a rude awakening because I guarantee you, your mama ain't told you nothing about this. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous for her, Lordy B. Look at his arms. It's a look for your wedding night, girl. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. Oh my God, this is so traumatic. No. Oh, baby. No. Hush, Marie. Maybe I should have just had a little more communication. And I, I'm not even talking about foreplay, although she would have appreciated that. She ain't even 14! You gotta tell her! I ain't going in there having all them people looking at me knowing what we've been doing in here. Having sex? Bells, Loretta, do you think this is something the rest of the world ain't caught on to yet? <laughs> Y'all got married! I ain't gonna get used to you getting on me and sweating like an old pig! You hit her? 
Your first 24 hours together, you hit her? She is a child. <laughs> you read that. Then we'll talk radios. <laughs> so I should not find that funny because he's serious, but damn, that's hilarious. Now, my guy, you married the girl who got salt and sugar confused in a pot. Like, did you expect her to just magically get better at cooking? <laughs> I can't read this book, though. It's got them great big old words in it. Just get the Karma Sutra and look at the pictures. <laughs> I hate that he growls. That's so weird. Damn, is there anything that you know how to do right now? That hurt my own feelings. That hurt me. <sighs> Stop making that noise. I agree, Loretta. You made her leave? Are you kidding me? Girl, you need to tell your daddy that he hit you. I believe married life's making you fat, girl. <laughs> what well, ain't from her cooking? Oh no. Oh no. Things happen pretty fast between you and dude, don't they? I know, girl. Same. I could not imagine having an old timey pap smear. <laughs> Absolutely not. I can't stand these. Let alone back then. Oh God, could you imagine? <gasps> I can't believe this. There ain't nothing for me in Kentucky, Loretta. Your wife? Your wife is here. Besides that, you got to come with me. I love you. you got a funny way of showing it. You promised daddy you wouldn't take me off far from home. He also promised your daddy he wouldn't hit you. He for real went off to Washington and just sends her, sends her money? Get up here. Let's see what you weigh. Well, that's not, a, that's not a fun activity to do outside of a train station. 117. I don't want to talk about it. Who made so how many kids have you had? Whoa, two at least. Three. Four. Well, it looks like you're right. She did find something she's good at, and she must have gotten better at the sex part, too. Uh, what'd you do all day, baby? What'd you do all day? Took care of these four kids and had a full salad, entree, and sides ready for you, bitch ass, when you got home. Ooh, I, you know what? I couldn't have. I simply would not have made it back then. And y'all drinking glasses and no home. dinner? Y'all know how I feel about that. And I'm about ready to die. I'm, I'm <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, don't like telephone. Oh, man. They get worse and worse, dude, as time progresses. When he let the Titanic go down. Why we got a lullaby by the Titanic? That doesn't really seem fitting. Well, I ain't got no wedding ring yet. Wedding ring? She's very insistent on that ring. <gasps> He's for real gonna do it this time? Ah, focus. They probably don't want it either, so I'll put it in the cannon box. Well, give me that. <gasps> God, so dramatic for no reason. What'd you get me a guitar for? Because I like the way you sing. That's sweet. Doesn't make up for getting drunk and skipping your anniversary, though. Can I have a present, too? Another kid? <laughs> well, you know what? Now I understand why Loretta Lynn uh, wrote that song about the pill. Oh, now he's going to be pissy that he's got to do the dishes while she's learning guitar. Is that what's about to happen? Go on, don't. You mean together? Yeah, together. Aw, that's okay. How about a dance, darling? Ooh, ooh, dude's finna show his ass, ain't he? Not me too, Mary Jane wearing no ring. That'll get you one. Oh, hell, you're not gonna have to get up here, cause I ain't gonna go up in the lounge. Thank the Lord. <laughs> you got all this, your girl. Ignorant hillbilly ass every step of the way. God, I hate that. Miss Loretta Lynn. Come on, girl, get into it. Yes, girl, I'll get into it. Is this sissy really singing? See, girl, people love you! See, just classic country just hits different, man. Your mama's a deck gum songwriter. You nice are! Story. Like, I love reading how, like, Dolly Parton came up with her songs. It's you making the best doggone record you can. It all depends on that, girl. No pressure. I know so much about the music book. I don't. I'm just figuring it out as I go along. But... Me? With YouTube? <laughs> That okay? That okay? It's your first take. I guess we're leaving now, so. <laughs> hey, put that Loretta being like, well, I guess we're gonna go, because my husband is leaving. Same with the babies. Yeah, just like he's at home. 
This is a great idea. This is the best idea Do has had besides the one of getting her on stage. Two good ideas. You gotta find your reason why, and her kiddos are her reason. That little lady sings her hind end off. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Oh wow, that is a cramp studio, Lord. Wait a minute, I ain't got all these doodads so long. <laughs> the doodads. Get up there in front of the backdrop. You mean that bitch friend? Yeah. <laughs> Backdrop! Lipstick or makeup or none of that junk, I don't like it. Last time I checked, she's grown. She can do whatever she wants, but all right. That's it, babe. One and done? Put the, <laughs> Put the backdrop back on the bed. There are, I thought Loretta Lynn, I was gonna say, got discovered young. She is young. But I didn't realize she had four kids before her career ever took off. You know what, honestly, I cannot tell you how many times I got these kind of mellers when I was in morning radio hey, and I will never day. forget and I probably still have the CD home. somewhere this man who sent this country rap before like Little Nas X was a thing and like whatever before bro country happened he had a rap song and I shit you not about cornbread I will have to find it I will simply have to find it her dad Oh, Loretta. Oh, like me. Baby, we know the words. We know the words. It's a classic. You know, he wanted to be with you and them grand youngins. Now it's not a time for a guilt trip, Mommy. This is what I want at my funeral. Everybody gathered around a bonfire drinking moonshine. You didn't do anything wrong by moving off, girl. You gotta do what's best for you, and that was what's, what's best for you. Brenda, we gotta decide something. Right now? After visiting her dad's grave? Lord, if you don't want it, I ain't gonna make you do nothing you don't want to do. It's your choice. Lord, I think this is the first time she's ever had to make a choice for herself. Come back, buddy. Don't be listening to little kids. Get out. Go. <laughs> that's a crime. That's right. That's WCB. After midnight. Okay, so Dewey ain't got no better at driving. I see you got it. Why are you smiling like that, you weird radio guy? And I played it. And it just sort of laid right there. It do be like that sometimes, but sometimes you gotta push harder, girl. I'm sorry, but it ain't nothing I can do once she gets cranked up. I guess you'd love to hear Okay, I love that he doesn't calm her down when she gets passionate about her work, though. That's good. Except everybody else calls him Mooney on account of he used to sell moonshine back in Butcher Holler. Girl, focus on you, not him. I said, oh, ain't nobody sings as good as Pacey. Let's listen. That was a great segue, girl. Country in Hazard, Kentucky. Hazard, Kentucky. I got a friend who's a news anchor there. Hi, Dakota, if you watch this. Ah, uh, baloney. Yes! Uh, I love baloney. <laughs> you know what they say about baloney now, though. What? Makes you horny. Oh lord, she don't know what that means. Oh goodness, in front of this lady and everything. That's embarrassing. Do, that's my husband. He'll get to acting horny. What? And um... Oh baby girl, that's not what that word means. But that kind of smut don't go on in this part of the country. So the FCC ain't gonna like that, baby girl. Be damn lucky if we don't lose our FCC license for this. FCC ain't about it. And then what happened is... That really isn't an act, is it? <laughs> Why not be a me for no reason? Hey, I think she's figuring out what horny means. <laughs> I'm crazy for being oh feeling so lonely. Ah! That's where I saw Loretta Lynn on her 85th birthday. Before I made the joke about her having a stroke. Well, before I made the joke about her dying that she had a stroke and never toured again. And they still have a radio station that airs on the Grand Ole Opry and or out of the Ryman. And then also they do a really fun tour if you're ever in Nashville. And you don't have to just like love country music, but like it's really cool to talk about. The Ryman started out as a church. Oh, it looks just like that. It still does. And keep your eyes on Ernest, and he'll introduce you. Ernest Tubbs, or is it singular? Ernest Tubb? I'm gonna go out there and give me some fresh air. He's leaving. He's going to get alcohol in, and he's gonna show up drunk. Feel sure you're going to love very much. It's Minnie Pearl? <laughs> I'm one of the wives, darling. Oh. Mind your business, girl. 
what she was like as a child before. It, like, to think about Dolly Parton, like, being a teenager or Loretta Lynn being a teenager. Like, it's just so wild to me. Like, famous people have only ever been famous in my mind. Which I know that's not how that works, but, like, kind of. <laughs> okay, it was shitty what he said, but, like, that kind of shitty? I don't think so. Hey, by the way, you think you might come back next week? Absolutely. Good God. Look at Broadway. Looking like slim pickings. That is not what Broadway looks like now. Although Ernest Tubbs record shop is still there though. Nobody ever goes in it. Or it's rare, I should say. I've been in it. It's great. If you go to Nashville, would suggest it. Also George Jones's bar. Not sponsored, but I did meet Nancy Jones. For you. Aw, that's so nice. Okay, and Dew is probably gonna be resentful because now he's holding the music. Hey, did you bring me that beer like I... <laughs> Thank you. Okay, that is so funny because if this is from Loretta's autobiography, then this like for real happened. And so for Patsy Cloud to be like, you got that beer? Give my straw. <laughs> Who's been saying that? Gals that have been sleeping with everybody and still ain't... <laughs> Don't start that rumor though. Dude, Dude will beat somebody's ass. Like, wow, Loretta Lynn was like Patsy Cline's shadow. Like, and then when I think about like Miley Cyrus being like Dolly Parton's goddaughter. Just what a crazy reality, you know? Why do I look like I'm about to do the Naruto run? Uh, I was gonna say a fun fact. Not very fun, but uh, Patsy Cline's plane crash happened about 30 minutes from where I grew up in Dyersburg, Tennessee. Don't you like sport, Patsy? Well, of course I do. I married Charlie, didn't I? <laughs> Find him every now and then. He ain't nothing but a damn tax deduction. Good God! Goes for you too, good little man. Oh, no, <laughs> you are... oh, Loretta, don't get your ass beat. Your husband's still crazy. Oh my God! Seeing that bus just made me remember I stayed at Dolly Parton's bus. Wild! Mud, flood, hell, or high water. I love the evolution of Loretta's hair. Ready, you get ready because I'm going to call you up after my first oh, song. Oh no, okay. Dewey's going to be pissed that she- Dewey is a scream. Dewey's going to be pissed that she's wearing makeup. You know that I don't like it. Now get on back there and take it off. Oh good, so you're just saying drunk the whole time. Got it. Good for you for saying no, Loretta! Patsy, you do. No, darling. Patsy wearing that cheetah print jacket is just a whole other level of bougie. <sighs> no! Uh, if you was keeping your man satisfied, he wouldn't have to go nowhere else. I'll be honest with you, you're Loretta Lynn. Leave his ass! I better not ever catch you with trash like that again. Get a sophisticated hoe next time. Woman, don't you ever warn me about nothing! You Are you not embarrassed about showing your ass for a Patsy Klein and all these other nice people? Cause you ain't woman enough to take my man. Where the hell's get the idea for that? Where you think, do? Them. Hey, 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 come on. Hey. Now, do what the hell in her purse that you gotta act like that? See, do look now you're causing a scene. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. You mean to tell me you stayed up for him? Is it broke? Let it be broke. Do if it's gonna break us up, I'll quit. I didn't think I'd ever agree with do, but right there, successful people don't quit. Gold us, give him the headache. I guess I'm what's giving them to you. I was about to say, you. When she finally fought you back, that's when you put a ring on it? No. I'm pregnant again, Patsy. Oh, no. I'll be happy about this. I'm tickled. We're going to have a baby. Easy for you to say, Patsy. You ain't got four other ones. Thanks, too. You're going to need all this, Loretta. Oh, my God. Patsy Klein hanging out in her house, casually wearing high heels. You know, I forgot I oh, had this taxi. Couldn't be me. I'm always barefoot in the house. The color that drives me in wild. Oh, great. That's just what I need. I was going to say, she's already done the deed. She doesn't need help with that. Special memorial tribute to the late Patsy Klein. Oh, she doesn't know. Early this morning in a plane crash near Dyersburg, Tennessee. What a shit way to find out. What an awful way to find out. The name's Farm Day. Twins? Oh. <laughs> out. I'm going to go back to work just as soon as I can, do. Yeah, dude, what did you expect? What a, ugh. Yes! Oh, her iconic red dress. I can't even! Hurricane Mills! That's 
her ranch. You can still tour it. I've never actually been, but that's where we were gonna go if she was having a birthday party there. I mean, how cool is it that their mom was on TV? You know what I mean? I see Du is still doing great on his alcohol consumption. She pulled her hair! She got her hair pulled? That's wild! Dolly Parton's wig would have been snatched right off. <laughs> Did you do something to your hair? Yeah, it's cut it for me. <laughs> Hell, you got people fighting each other to take care of you. But she needs her husband. It's different. Don't be weird. Good night. Oh, I thought he was going to get weird with the fan. I thought he was going to be like in it, you know? Oh, she doesn't remember her words. Oh, because of the pills? I didn't realize she went through a phase that like she didn't know her music. But is this due to the pills? I mean, I, but I also can't imagine like having to know all these words all the time to all your songs. Like, does your brain ever run out of space? I was just coming to get you. Are you ready? No. Does she look ready? <sighs> God, him and this grunting. All I can do is just tell you to get the hell out there and sing for Well, I'd word it a little bit nicer, but all right. Aw, oh, tears on her face and everything. It breaks my heart. But I can tell you. Friends. Me on lives with you. A little girl in the next day was married and so I was having babies and uh, it was a lot happening at a young age. Oh yeah, she never got to grieve Patsy. Listen, she said she couldn't do it. She said she couldn't do it. You should have listened. I didn't know this happened. This is so sad. Also, Sissy has done a great job in this movie. Okay, well now I just simply have to go to Hurricane Mills. I just simply have to do that. So we can wake up every morning, look at that old picture, wonder and watch the sun come up. Okay, that's kind of sweet. That's kind of sweet for do. Is this entire movie? That's sweet. House is called a lawyers and get a divorce. I'm tired what? of this bullshit. That is dramatic. That's a huge dramatic reaction to what she just said. Miner's daughter. Okay, sissy, nail her mannerisms. Are you kidding me? This is spot on. See, y'all give her a chance to rest. She comes back better than ever. It's almost like she's a human. Oh my god, they d it, th Sissy oh, in this film is like just spot on with the mannerisms. Like she looks amazing here. Like listen, I don't mean to sound like one of them people, but this is country. <laughs> oh, it's over? This starts the credit? Tommy Lee Jones. Have I seen him in other stuff? That name sounds really familiar. Ernest Taupe was himself. See, I've, I've never seen like, you know what I mean. Here is my question, Loretta Lynn, Dolly. Patsy, they all got songs about their husbands cheating on them or women coming after their men. How are you going to be married to any of these women and cheat on them? Oh my God. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Although I've kind of already talked about it, but let's talk about it for real. Okay, so as I was saying before I realized it was the end credit scene, Sissy Spacek killed it killed it in this film are you kidding me like did she win any awards for this because like her mannerisms the way loretta used to hold the the cord and the microphone like stop it are you kidding me okay so best ask who best actress in a leading role sissy spacek oh country movie of the year wow okay okay so sissy racked up a lot of awards for this and it could not be more deserved. I mean, her mannerisms, are you kidding me? Like I said in the film just 30 seconds ago as well, Sissy Spacek killed it. This was really good. You know, in the live, Bleeding Green was like, oh, you're gonna love this film. And Blake has been telling me for years that I was gonna love it, but I was so scared. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. But apparently the Redolin's death was the <laughs> was my why this time. I shouldn't laugh. Was the why this time. This was such a good movie. And now I gotta go in there and tell Hubbin, you were right. The day I'm filming this, the new season of The Crown dropped, so Blake's gonna be binging that this evening, but I don't wanna sound like one of the people, but they just don't make music like that anymore. And I know that country music ain't for everybody. I get that, 100%. But listen, they just don't make country music like that anymore. Just tough as nails, and I love that for her. And it was also a really cool thing. Maybe I should find her autobiography and read it. It was also really cool to see her transition from like a 14-year-old girl whose daddy told her what to do, and then do told her what to do, and then, you know what, she met another strong, independent, talented, driven woman, and was like, no, I know my worth, and I love that for her. We lost a good one when she passed, and I didn't mean to do that to her. The order of events in which I said she could die tomorrow, and then she had her stroke and never toured again, and then I retold that story for y'all, and two days later, kicked the bucket, 
Anyways, all right, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, stick around because this Friday is Mall Rats. I don't have a poll up for the next couple of Mondays, but if editing Ashley knows, she'll put it right here. And then the next Friday is Singing in the Rain. Mall Rats, thanks to Ingie Bingy 2000, and Singing in the Rain, thanks to Tachi. So, like, subscribe, stick around. Links to social media down below. Ow, what? If you want to be my friend outside of the YouTube verse, uh, Discord as well. Yeah, I'll see you right back here on Friday for Mall Rats. Bye.